Good morning. It's Jack Sunshine. And I'm riding with Biden this morning. I'm riding with Biden. And I got my maggot hat on. Yeah, yeah. Make that motherfucking asshole go away, Jackson. Make him go away. I'm thinking about having an auction. Not an auction. A raffle. Not even a raffle. A giveaway. I gotta get the 5,000 viewers. You know? Bella, come on. Get in here. That shuts her up, usually. Do you want to go in the house? Zizel. It's Monday. Around 8 o'clock. And it's a little chilly today, man. I gotta tell you, man, the hater mail is making me angry. I got one or two guys who are uh, crossing the fucking line. I wish you little cocksuckers would come over and knock on my fucking door, uh, hiding behind your keyboard. Um, yeah. Keep talking, motherfucker. That's all I can tell you. Um, be a big man. Put your mug on fucking YouTube, guy. Don't hide behind your fucking can't your keyboard with a couple of s keys stuck. Cheeto dust all up in that motherfucker. I had to block him. I try not to do that, man. I try not to, you know, snuff people out, but Jesus Christ, man. Every fucking comment is just fucking definitely not uh, within the fucking confines of the YouTube community. Yeah, I mean, they really fuck with me. And I just want to, I want to fucking hurt them. I'll be honest with you, man. I just want to fucking hurt the motherfucker. Yeah. Uh. I get it. People out there probably want to hurt me too, but. At least you know where the fuck I live, motherfuckers. Uh. All these anonymous fucking guys in their fucking sitting home at night all weekend fucking texting nasty comments to me get a fucking life you fucking moron anyways Joe's seeing red this morning just like Johnny uh, it's Monday morning my truck is totally squared away uh, I got it all straightened out yesterday uh Got to check under the under the front end of my truck, man. I think the stabilizer bar bushings they they don't last long on these Fords, or maybe just because of the weight. But I hear a lot of knocking around, and that's usually what it is. I've had to replace them two, three times. It's not a big deal. The problem is the shit you buy is from China. Come on, get in there. Get in. Uh, and it just doesn't last, man. But I can't complain about that truck, man. I've had the damn thing for 20 years. It starts up every fucking morning. Lugs all my shit around and me. Uh, it's been a great truck. I'm gonna give you guys a little heads up and it's probably, I probably shouldn't do this because it'll drive the cost up. I have that kind of influence in the world. But I'm gonna tell you guys the best bargain on work trucks are these fucking little these uh, F450s uh, extended wheelbase basically a cab and chassis and it's made a bus you know for bussing old people around down here in Florida you pick these things up man for nothing nothing and it's a real deal heavy duty fucking F450 
extended wheelbase and down here people breaking in your cars and trucks is just not an issue I mean at least where I live you know I know <clears throat> it helps that I have two dogs and I'm a little fucking wackadoodle do uh, I think the word has gotten out but uh those trucks are a deal, man. You can pick them up for fucking 15 grand, 10 grand with low, low miles. I mean, these things are just picking up 15 old people and taking them to the market at the end of the street, man. I mean, literally 10, 15, 20,000 miles on a fucking 2012. Make it work, man. It's a great, great truck. A lot of them come with a wheelchair lift, which is a very nice option for water heaters and shit like that. Look into those trucks, man. I'm telling you, that's where the good deals are. But you gotta buy them quick. You gotta be scanning. Uh, like uh, Facebook Marketplace has a lot of them. Uh, but you gotta get them from the original owner. You can't get them from the guy who went over and grabbed it. To resell it for an extra 10 grand, you know. Uh, that's my little tech tip of the day. Uh, Ford makes a great work truck, man. All I do is change my brake pads, you know, usually a thousand miles after they needed to be changed. You know, you get some really good scraping going on, owning those fucking, uh, you know, rotors getting some deep grooves in there I just think that they work better with grooves in them uh, it's more surface you know what I mean it's like a labyrinth anyways that's my tech tip of the day look at Johnny's eyes they're really fucking bad this morning I was doing really good man with the with the uh, Zizol and this shit that is really expensive, man. They don't even tell you how much is in this bottle. They say 60 sniffs. 60 sniffs. 18 bucks. 16, 18 dollars for this shit. And, uh, you don't even know how much is in the fucking thing. It's probably just a corner of this bottle, man. Terrible. It's terrible. Fucking Joe Biden. You son of a bitch. It ain't Joe Biden. Yesterday when I woke up and realized almost everything was closed, including McDonald's. McDonald's used to be open. It just didn't matter. They were open 24-7, man. 365. Now they're paying their workers $15 an hour and they got to pay them fucking overtime or holiday pay. They're like, fuck that, man. Close this shit down. Go to McDonald's, man. Them fucking hamburgers are like them little old White Castle fucking things now. Terrible. They kept the price the same, I think, and just give you half the fucking hamburger. I mean, literally, you can eat it in one bite. Burger King raised their price and kept them the same. Burger King's better anyways. Cooking them greasy fucking, who, who knows? I call it mystery meat, you know? I mean, it's so bad that mold don't even want to eat it. You can toss one of them hamburgers in the back seat of your car and go look at it five fucking years from now and that motherfucker won't have any, it'll look the same. You know that shit's gonna be bad for you. It's like mummified. Nothing happens to it. Ah. So I may, I don't have anything cooking this morning. My business is really slow. It's that, you know, there's an ebb and flow to business, man. Uh, I don't do any advertising. The advertising I do, uh, it brings me some some people but uh kid 
Hey, kid, I'm tough. I got fucking tattoos. You see this? Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Couple of these motherfuckers, man. I just want to smack them in the fucking head, man. Hard. Open hand. Just a fucking slap. Upside the fucking head. And take them out. Knock them the fuck out. They'll be laying on the ground with their fucking eyes open. Johnny goes from being nice to being totally fucking psychotic pretty fast. Uh, I think they call that being psychotic. But, uh, yeah. I would love to meet a couple of these motherfuckers. That's all I'd like to say. Yeah. The keyboard cowboys. Yeah. I'm trying to get Biden in there. In my MAGA hat. Gonna wear it like this. Like a real fucking redneck. Remember fucking Gomer Pyle? That, that guy, his, his uh, company commander or whoever the fuck that guy was, he wore his hat like this. Back in the good old days, yeah. Go away! That was Gomer, wasn't it? Yeah! That's back when America was a good place. Andy Griffith. Yeah. And Aunt B. Aunt B. Uh, we don't call aunts aunts where I'm from. Yeah, you gotta cross some line in America where your aunt goes from being your aunt to your aunt. Aunt B. Yeah. That's a southern thing. This is my aunt. This is my aunt, and this is my cockroach. <laughs> that one got me, man. That was kind of funny. I like that one. The 7-Eleven coffee's not bad. <clears throat> but I gotta tell you, being the conspiracy theorist that I am, I'm thinking that all of this fucking coffee is made in the same fucking factory. I mean, how many, uh, you don't know what the fuck you get. We used to call them a beat bag, you know, back in the day. You don't know what the fuck's in the bag till you get home and realize you just spent $10 on a bag of fucking parsley or Italian seasoning or oregano, uh, you don't know what the fuck is in these bags of coffee. And I just think that they're all made at the same plant. They're like, okay, we're gonna run a fucking series of 7-Eleven packages. Get ready, kids. And they run the same coffee through the 7-Eleven, you know. Then they're like, okay, everybody, grab a shovel. Grab a shovel. Get all this shit up off the floor. And we're gonna run a fucking McDonald's fucking... Do a McDonald's run. <laughs> McDonald's has good coffee. But it will... It has been known to sizzle your motherfucking crotch jet. Cook the old fucking... Yeah, private parts. I don't know why the fuck coffee needs to be that hot. That you can't even... You know, it's like nuclear. You touch it with your lips and your fucking lips fall off. What the fuck, man? Really? Why? This is what Johnny... These are the questions Johnny has on Monday morning. So I, I did some rag laundry yesterday, guys, in my fucking washing machine that I found on the side of the road. Another tech tip for you guys. If you're driving around and you see a washer and a fucking dryer sitting out in front of somebody's house, it takes five minutes. Sometimes it takes, you know, an hour or so if they call the cops on you and you got to show your ID and, you know, 
tell them why you're banging on this fucking door. But what I do is, and what I've done in the past, is if I see a fucking washer and dryer that looks average, I stop. I go up and knock on the fucking door and say, hey, does this shit work? And they say, yeah, it works great, but, you know, my wife wanted a new fucking set. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this. I take it, bring it home, and that's what I use for my rags, man. And any other shit that I don't want to put in my personal washer and dryer. Uh, works great. So yesterday I did all my towels, those blue towels I bought from Walmart. Fucking very nice, man. I mean, they're the best towels I fucking have, man. I mean, I live like a fucking pauper, man. I just don't buy nice shit. It's all got to do with how I was living when I was a child, man. When you grow up poor, you stay poor in your fucking mind. For the rest of your fucking life. And we had towels that would take the first three layers of skin off your fucking ass, man. These motherfuckers were rough. Like fucking drying off with fucking razor wire. I was fucking 18 before I fucking realized you're supposed to change sheets. My girlfriend was like, when the fuck was the last time you changed this sheet? I was like, um, I don't know, I think I was like 10, maybe 9. Could have been 12, I don't know, but she's like, you need help, man. She was a good woman. I gave birth, I didn't give birth, she did, but I saw my daughter come into the world. Yeah, the same doctor who delivered me, Dr. McDonald, delivered my daughter. And uh, he delivered Almost all, I think, maybe all, I don't know. A lot of the stuff, we can't get the information anymore because, uh, you know, these people have passed, man. They, When people die, they take a lot of knowledge with them. But my mom's gone, I can't ask her. Uh, but this Dr. McDonald, he shows up in the fucking delivery room to deliver my daughter, and he's got white cowboy boots on. A little fucking strange and where the leather meets the soul it's all blood around it like you know punani blood on the boots from days gone by and I was like wow that's pretty gross there mr. McDonald anyways that was a sight for sore eyes when I saw what happens to a, uh, the extent of the tricks that a punani can do. Yeah. It's, uh, it was pretty amazing. So anyways, uh, I don't know what's, what fucking, uh, Trump's been doing lately. If he's not in court, he's cheating on the on the fucking golf course he just a fucking snake in the grass man everything this guy does is a fucking scheme scam fuck everything we want to throw this guy the keys to this country come on guys find somebody better man that's all i'm saying you know no it's fucking you know he's bad when all the criminals in America want to fucking vote for him. Thank God most of them don't have the right to fucking vote. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah. The black fucking criminal vote. I love Trump. Yeah. That motherfucker's just like me. Yep. Yeah.
Come on, man. That one's gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> so, <clears throat> my phone has it wrong. I'd like to, uh, I'm looking over here at my nephew's house. I gotta get this fucking window shaker air conditioner out of there. Uh, over there by my outside kitchen. Yeah, Johnny's got an outside kitchen. Yeah. Fucking guy. This house is starting to look like a house of broken dreams. Cancer's no joke, man. It'll fuck you up financially. I mean, look at... I get a lot of cracks on my fucking hair, man. I get a lot of cracks on my hair, dude. I ain't got no hair, man. Chemotherapy three fucking times. Your your hair cells are the weakest cells in your body, supposedly, and that's why immediately your fucking hair just falls out, you know? They can't handle it. Your hair cells are like, I'm out. This is getting a little too rough for me. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. And uh, it's funny, man. I thought I was, when I first went in, the first chemo that I got, man, you know, a couple of days went by and I didn't lose my fucking hair. And uh, I thought I was Billy really Badass. I was like, shit, motherfucker, my hair ain't gonna fall out. That fucking night, I wake up. Ah, fucking coughing, hacking on some hair in my mouth, up my fucking nose. I look in the mirror and it looked like I was a dog with mange. I mean, just big clumps where I had like patchwork. I looked fucking, it was hilarious, man. I just couldn't stop laughing looking in the mirror like, what happened to you? <laughs> and then that shit, I had a fucking cue ball. Yep. Johnny had a cue ball by the end of the fucking day. All my shit fell out in one fucking day. Come on, you fucking pains in the ass. Come on, Gussie. Get out of here. He's like, no. This fucking guy is so sensitive. It's like dealing with a fucking woman. You gotta watch the tone of your voice, what you say. If you, if you give him the wrong energy, he's back in the house on the fucking couch. Somebody sent me a video yesterday. I don't know who the who it was. I get all this shit and it's just a phone number. I don't know who the fuck these people are. Whoever it was, thank you. But it was a video of a lady cleaning a German Shepherd. A long-haired German Shepherd who looked like it was out in the wilderness for 40 fucking years. But Jesus Christ. Christ, this is what I deal with, what that lady was doing. She was in there with a fucking electric blower, just blowing the shit out of these dogs, man. Shit was flying everywhere here, and uh, there's no way I could do that with Gussie. All I got to do is make a move. I go like this. Towards the fucking vacuum, and that motherfucker makes a beeline out of the fucking house. Watch this. You'll see him. What? He'll be out in two seconds. Get a fucking vacuum. 
You want these dogs to do what you want them to do? Buy a shop vac. A metal one. That's loud as fuck. Who the fuck has to use a shop vac to clean their house? Johnny does. But that gets his this fucking mentally imbalanced fucking dog out of my house. I don't know where the imbalance comes from. Maybe it's handed down from Papa Bear. Yeah. So guys, I've come to the conclusion that I need more barrels. So here's the deal with my trash. There's three trucks. Recyclables which they give you these nice barrels, but you can't fit anything in them. If you can, it's because you spent 16 fucking hours out there with a fucking razor knife cutting it up to get it in that goddamn barrel. Cardboard is notorious for being, you know, it's shippable. It doesn't fucking fall. Look at Gussie. Gussie wants in there, Jack. I see you. Because he's creeping. Because he's creeping. Anyways, yeah, so we got recyclables, garbage, and then yard waste. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to the yard guy, the people pick up the yard waste tomorrow. Because these guys, especially this dude on the yard waste truck, he's, he's an angry white man. You know, he's got fucking issues. Fucking pissed at the world. Uh... You know, it ain't our problem or our fault. You ended up on a fucking garbage truck, pal. So anyways, I'm going to try to put my ten buckets across the street where they come in at my neighbor's house. So it's the first house on the street that they pick it up. And then they'll drop them and I'll gather them all up and run back across my to my house with uh i've got the shit in big piles and i can fill those 10 buckets up in 15 20 minutes and that'll be just enough time for them to come around the bend and pick them motherfuckers up again and this kid will probably have an attitude like you're double dipping motherfucker and right here in the fucking garbage garbage uh industry uh, etiquette fucking book here page 69 no double dipping yeah. no we're not gonna pick it up how about if i put a fucking 50 dollar bill on top of that fucking barrel right there full of leaves will you do it then well yeah right here on page 70 it says negate everything in this book if they want to pay you money Johnny's got to do what Johnny got to do, Jackson. Good morning, children. Listen. Go, man. Get that fucking frustration out, my friend. Get it out. Thank God. Motherfucker be a mass murderer if he didn't fucking... Seventy degrees. It was a little chilly this morning, man. So anybody, I need some ideas on what we can do. Maybe uh, at this rate, it's going to be well into 2026 by the time I get to 5,000 subscribers. Uh... But how can we get there? Maybe this hat goes out to the 5,000th subscriber. Let's do that. Come on, you fucking maggots. <laughs> Don't eat me. Don't eat me, man. Come on. Look at this. I tried to brush Gussie. 
And look at this thing that came off of them. This is what I breathe every day, guys. Thinking the dogs are my biggest fucking issue, man. I don't know, I had issues before. Bella's not too bad, but Gussie is just a fucking dirt ball. He's a young kid, you know? He's a boy. He's like, I don't clean myself. <laughs> Bella, she's always, she looks great, man. She's never been to the boutique. And uh, she just looks great. She takes care of herself. Gussie, he's like, hmm, there's some dirt and some water. Look at he's listening to me talk about him. He's over here, fucking veg head. He's a veg head. Gussie, what are you doing over there? Gussie, what you doing there? Come here. Look at him. What you doing, man? Gussie's a little simple. Gussie, he don't lie. He's a pretty honest guy. For you real creeps out there, how about grabbing a retinal scan? So this guy that I had the fucking shit can, who I'd love to just punch right in the fucking chicklets, knock his fucking teeth out, to be honest with you. Uh... He's like, hey, I see that bike you have out there in your driveway. That is obviously not your fucking bike because it has a seat on it. You like to ride around on the pole and hit every bump on your street. Well, for fucking, for, the first thing is my street just got repaved, smarty pants. Second thing is, you want a free t-shirt, my friend, come to my house. Knock on the door and get your free t-shirt. That's all I can tell you. Uh, yeah. Yep. Mmm. Keep fucking puffing, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. Bust you in the fucking head, man. Yeah. He's gotta get to the gym. Look at this. I used to have fucking huge arms, guys. I was fucking strong when I was a kid. I gotta show you guys some pictures of me, man. I was a badass. I used to be somebody. Now look at me. I got a fucking Biden shirt on and a maggot fucking hat. Just not right. My desk, my desk bays are behind me. Or something like that. I think it was best days. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get a hold of a couple of these motherfuckers. That's all I can say. They do get in your fucking head, man. Make you want to fucking hurt somebody. Uh, and it happens to everybody on YouTube, man. Everybody eventually will have to mention the people, the trolls, you know, the guys who have no life. Uh, this is what they do, man. It makes them feel impotent. I mean, important. Or maybe they are impotent. Yeah. Listen, guy. I'm the one who puts my mug on television, on YouTube, every fucking day. Every day. Stop hiding behind your keyboard, you little prick. Come on out of the fucking closet so I can smack the fucking piss out of you. Johnny's getting a little fired up. I gotta go get some more coffee. Look at Gussie. Gussie is a vegetable. Mm-hmm.
Hello, Gussie. I see you over there. Yeah, I see you, Gussie. Gussie loves getting brushed. He realizes that, man, this getting brushed shit feels good, man. You don't know how lucky you are, buddy. You don't know how lucky you are, but I'll tell you, he's got a clean, like his back and shit. He's pretty clean, man. There ain't a lot of hair coming out of him. And uh, his back legs are just the issue, you know. He's got a lot of hair on his back legs, but I watched this, this video of this lady cleaning this dog, man. And just by, she said she washed it ten fucking times, man. Spent an hour over an hour washing this fucking dog and then spent uh an hour uh with the vacuum reverse so it's blowing air and the sh fucking hair was just flying off of this dog fleas fucking i mean it's a it's like a little ecosystem on these dogs man it's a whole new world man and uh Unfortunately, I got two of them, man. And my house is becoming a fucking dog kennel. I don't know what to do, man. <clears throat> Bella, are you fucking nuts? You just run around all day fucking yipping and yapping? It's Monday, guys. Johnny's needs more coffee this is the end of my second cup Joe's calmed down a little bit I don't know what was in that bag but it ain't that sh coffee I bought from 7-eleven in them cups I'm telling you this is Twigs and stems <clears throat> and seeds. You know what I mean? For you guys who uh, partake in the old marijuana, you know what I'm talking about. The chafe. That's what this is. They just shovel it up, grind it up real, real fucking good. And, uh,. I had a dream that one day, no, I'm kidding. I had a dream about my phone. There were two palmetto bugs living inside my phone. And they went in there as babies. And they grew up. And they couldn't get out. They were fucking huge living inside my phone. What a fucking horrible. I have post-traumatic stress, guys. Yes. Terrible. I'm going to end on that. Have a great day.